Hi guys, just wanted to have a quick look at these solar lights. I bought these in Asda, a supermarket, 99 pence each. We've got white ones and colour changing ones. So 99 pence each compared to these ones that I bought in Poundland for a pound. I was very pleased with these. Um, I've been using one for a little project and it lights up well and keeps going for quite a long time when it's had a day in the sun. These haven't. Um, these ones, I was looking at them in the shop and I looked here and we got a pull out tab instead of, instead of an on off switch, pull out tab and I can actually see in there we've got a battery and then reading it, it actually says a two thirds size AA 1.2 volt rechargeable battery. And I thought that's handy because um, there are a few cases where I actually want that size battery, rechargeable battery for some of the toys. So, well, if we just pull that out, see if the light comes on. Yep, yeah, light comes on. Hold it up to the light, light goes out. So there's some charge in there. But we'll just have a little look inside. At the battery. Because I just thought this might be a handy source of getting hold of those batteries at short notice. I mean, obviously you can go on eBay and probably order them and they'll arrive eventually. Yeah. See, it's, well, there's a normal AA battery, not a rechargeable one, but, so that one is two thirds the size. And so sometimes some of the toys want them that size. So I thought that was handy. Got a brand name on it. Nope. Well, it's got a Q on it, whether that's the brand. Nickel metal hydride. 1.2 volts. Two third triple, uh, double A, 150 milliamp hour. Let's just see if we can get that close up. Yeah, so that might just happen to be a handy source if you want one at short notice. I suppose while we've got it apart, we can have a quick look. Well, we can't pull the circuit board out because it's hot glued in place black blob chip on it so we can't see what's actually inside it to operate it I think that's the standard way of doing things though rather than having a separate chip there I can't remember the number of the chip now something something no it doesn't matter can't remember Yeah, so there you go. If you need a two-third size nickel metal hydride battery, they're in there. Right, well, I'll put that back together properly in a second. Uh, 
Well, we'll just have a look at the colour changing ones, see how effective they are. The colour changing will actually be the LED itself, it won't be any circuitry, I wouldn't have thought. I don't think that one... Yeah, it probably needs to charge. Oh no, it is changing colour. I was going to say it might have needed to charge for a while before it was enough power in there to do the colour change sequence. But no, that one's working. Hmm, oh, I might actually go and stick them out in the garden for a while. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.